and welcome to another edition of Canopedia, where we are bringing to you honest and unbiased cannabis strain reviews. So today we are going to be reviewing Kush Mints by our friends over at Grow Science. So. Kush Mints is a hybrid strain that is a cross between animal mints and the ever popular Bubba Kush. Oh my gosh, you guys, what a combination the guys at Grow Science have created for us today. So, Bubba Kush is like one of my favorite strains of all time, so I cannot wait to taste this Kush Mints today. So before I pop the top, let's get a look at this thing. I'm going to pull it up on the screen and then we are going to check it out together. All right, so you guys just had a chance to check it out. Now it is my turn to pop the top on this Kush Mints from Grow Science and let's see what it's all about. What do you say? Whoa, mackerel, whoa, mamma mia. All right, so the very first thing I'm gonna say here, you guys, and mind you, these are some small little micro buds in this, so I'm gonna just pull a couple of these out and look at them here on the screen with you guys. So this bud is, it's way more purple than it is green. I mean, I'm not sure if this is going to allow it to focus or not, you know, while it's trying to focus on my face, maybe I'll hide my face here and let it focus, but you know, it might look green, but you'll see when we do the up close on this, this stuff is all undertones of purple, some little bit of green kind of threaded in there, but like perfect proportion of crystals to hairs. And this is a really densely packed bud structure. Um, it has got these like huge colas at the top of the bud that are just unbelievable. And I will tell you that all intent and purposes, the trichomes are there and they are frosty. And honestly, now I'm looking at it a little closer. There are big globs of THC on this stuff. Man, I can't wait to try this stuff. I mean, and again, just really dense, densely packed and a great proportion. Those hairs are so bright orange. They are so nice. So, man, I'm so excited to try this Cushman's. All right, let's talk about the smell, you guys. This stuff, the second that I opened the jar, the Terps just filled the room. Like... It was undeniable. The Kush, but the Bubba Kush in the back end of this, I could just smell it all over this. And then the Animal Mints, it's got like a little bit of a cookie flavor. So think like a wedding cake or cookies, you know, GMO or something like that. Man. And it's like, it's not overly sweet. It's kind of like the perfect level of sweet um, to that kind of piney aroma. And I did grind some up before I got started today. And goodness gracious. Oh, that piney Kush flavor is just embedded deep within this Kush with by Grow Science. I cannot wait to try out this hybrid strain. So, without further ado, today I am going to be enjoying this out of my Airizer Extreme Q desktop vaporizer that has been set to 375 degrees Celsius, and then I have then fed that right on over here to my scientific inhalations bubbler and it's a triple filtered bubbler but since we're using it out of the vape today i have decided to opt out of using the carbon or charcoal that we put in this first chamber which typically actually just prevents ash from making its way down into the water we don't have any ash so i left that out however 
We did get this cleaned out with rubbing alcohol just before the review started, and I've got a brand new organic cotton filter in here. And this is just gonna ensure that I am giving you guys the absolute most unbiased review of these terpenes. And I, you know, I know when you start using combustion, a lighter, we smoke it out of you know a bong or a joint or a pipe. The actual act of lighting a flame to the herb is going to change the flavor. Now, I know there's some people out there who absolutely love, love just puffing, but I think to give honest reviews, you know, vaporizing is really the best way to do it. Plus, you guys, this is the best way to enjoy your medicine. It is absolutely, you know, hand over fist better than smoking on your lungs and for your body. So, <laughs> there it goes. I was like, man, am I gonna sneeze here on camera? It's coming, it's coming, and I'm not cutting away, you guys. This is how we do it here. We're all, we, we roll straight through those interruptions. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and try out some of this Cushman's by Grow Science. What do you say? Holy mackerel. I'll tell you what, you guys. For the first pull, oh my gosh. That was a great, great first pull. You guys watch enough videos on here. Typically, the bud doesn't start pulling until the second draw or so, but that was like almost a three quarters rip. I've got some actual sweet tones on my tongue right now. Um, I'm not necessarily getting that piney kush flavor that I was hoping that I would get, but the flavors that I am getting are like subtly sweet, not in your face or like citrusy sweet, but just subtly sweet. I really am digging it. So I cannot wait to try the second pull from this and let's get that started now. Oh man, who says second isn't best? Wow, wow. You guys, from a flavor perspective, this was so smooth. Like that was just buttery smooth. I don't think it really gets any smoother um, the flavor. Now I am tasting that sweet flavor that I described after the first draw. That has now coated my tongue. And now what I'm getting are some of those Kush undertones on the back end. And like, it's just what I was like hoping it would be like. Not to mention that I actually felt this coming on during that second rip, um, you know, in the head. So gosh, I can't wait to try the rest of this bowl. So while I am doing that, I am going to show you guys this stuff up close and personal so you can get a little bit of a better look at it before I check back in with you guys to report what I think of this Kush Mint by Grow Science. So here it is, a little closer and pers more personal. Alrighty, so here it is, the star of today's show, Kush Mints by Grow Science. And you are looking at this under a 25 times magnification macro lens. And look at the color of those hairs, you guys. Those are like bright orange and then I, I'm sure you guys can tell the purple undertones just shining through that amazing, amazing densely packed bud structure. But I mean those trichomes are just absolutely huge. All right, so you guys just had a chance to check this Cushman's out up close and personal. And I will be the first to tell you, 
it is some really good looking stuff. And I will tell you that from my personal opinion, that bowl from the beginning of the end was just so smooth. This was such good medicine. The flavor was like just very subtly sweet. It was not overly sweet by any means. Um, and it had some of that Kush undertones there kind of on the tail end. And I really am just loving, loving the way this stuff tastes, you guys. And overall, this is absolutely consistent with a hybrid strain. I mean, you know, not too euphoric and not too, you know, in the couch or anything like that. We're kind of sitting right there level headed. This is actually, I could see this as being a daytime driver, especially if you're a daily user um, and you've got a little bit of a tolerance built up because this is just like really clear headed and it, it just honestly is like, this is a strain that would be like a go-to daily driver for me just because it's so level. Um, and I really like that about this stuff and the flavor is just right up my alley. I really wish we had some bigger, bigger buds to review here, but the ones that we've got are great. So what I wanna do before I give you guys my final opinion on this stuff, I'm gonna bring it up on the screen. I'm gonna show it to you one more time. All right, so you guys had a chance to check it out one final time, and let's go ahead and give the rundown on this stuff, because I've been sitting, I'm going back and forth in my mind, you guys. It's like funny, I've got literally one side of my head is like, yeah, this is definitely like an eight and a half. The other side is telling me to stick with an eight on this because, you know, an eight is just probably more consistent with what I would give a strain like this. Um, and, you know, let's do the rundown together and maybe I can kind of talk it through with you guys as I'm seeing this stuff because it's like, it really is some cool, cool stuff. So, Excuse me, I'm a little stuffed up today. So I think from the smell standpoint, the fact that it's getting through my stuffy nose is unbelievable. Um, I absolutely really, really dig this smell, just that sweet, um, but you know, the kush is like in the forefront of the, the sweet, because the sweet is just subtle and uh, hits on the back end, whereas I think the kush flavor straight out of the jar for this for me is way on the front end, um, you know, for me first, personally. Um, I would say that like the buds themselves, the ones that we've got here to review are really nice. They're very nice. I will say I'm pretty sure this was just like something that was spit out of a machine for me. I'm not sure these particular buds look like they were hand trimmed, um, but that's okay. It's still, still a good bud. Um, the overall potency of this stuff is just really level-headed. I mean, I, I can tell it's potent, so like a new user would really just get kicked around with this stuff, but for like a regular user, like this, this is some definitely legit, decent stuff. Um, and the taste, it had the flavor. I mean, the terps were there. I definitely got the terps. So I was like, man, I want to lead toward an 8.5, but I think I'm going to hold off on giving it an eight and a half. I want to give this an eight out of 10. This is the Kush Mints by Grow Science. And I actually, it's funny, the closest thing to this I've tried on this channel and I've reviewed has been the London Mints. Um, however, that was done by House Exotics, but it's kind of on, on par with that same stuff, which is why I don't think I really want to give it, uh, you know, an eight and a half or anything. And I, I really, it's like, as much as I want to lean towards an 8.5, I think an eight is a good, good sticking point with this. If maybe the buds were a bit bigger, you know, I'd probably kick this up into the eight and a half, you know, possibly even a nine, honestly, depending on how nice the bud was. But eight out of 10 is legit, you guys. If you are out there and you see some of this gross science, uh, Cushmits floating around, 
absolutely snag it. You're gonna pay top dollar for it. There's no question about it. Typically, this stuff doesn't even like, they won't give you discounts on this if the you know places that you go offer discounts just because of how high end this stuff is. And I don't blame them. I actually don't think they should, to be honest with you. Good Bud deserves a high ticket price. So, that is it for me today, the Kush Mints from Grow Science. It is an eight out of 10. Until the next one, take care of yourselves and one another. I will see you guys soon.